Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach, and I'm the author of the Break the Cycle nonprofit educational website, which is eight self improvement lessons. These lessons come from what I've learned uh, after being on the planet for 73 years and spending 31 of those years doing family therapy. Um, one thing I have learned from all these years is that average children age 0 through 6 who are subjected to significant trauma psychological spiritual emotional or physical trauma protect themselves automatically they adapt to survive by developing a fragmented personality and sometimes it's called a split personality the most extreme case is multiple personality but only about 5% of average people have that. One of the results of having a, a split personality or fragmenting is up to five specific psychological injuries or wounds. Uh, in order to get some background and perspective on what I've just said, let me invite you first, before viewing the rest of this video, see this video it will give you good preparation for what I'm about to say. So see that, it'll open in a separate window, then come back here. Now, as you just saw, one of six psychological wounds that are epidemic, as far as I'm concerned, in our country and probably others, can be called reality distortion. That's a broad term for not seeing the local or environmental world as it really is. It's distorting reality. There are many types of reality distortion. You're, you've probably experienced most of them in other people. You may experience them subjectively yourself if you are a grown, wounded child. One of the most popular forms of reality distortion is denial, which is inspired, as you know, a pop cliche that says denial is not a river in Egypt. Ha ha. Denial is not seeing things that really are there. There are lots of examples. A popular one is denial of an addiction or of a serious health problem, uh, denial of a marital problem, of financial problems, of health problems. I don't have a problem. I'm not denying. Uh, I'm not addicted. Um, I don't have cancer. That causes a great deal of confusion and frustration in people around the one who is doing the denier. Perhaps the master denial is of itself. I'm not denying anything. You're crazy. I see things fine. When in fact, you don't. So denial is one form of reality distortion. Another form is having illusions, um, which is seeing things that don't exist. Um, seeing a financial gain that you think is certain, which in fact turns out to be false. Seeing a friendship which doesn't really exist. Seeing things that you want to see that aren't real. Those can be called illusions or delusions. Um, another form of reality distortion can be called idealizing. It's similar to illusions in a way. But it really amounts to seeing the, seeing only the best of some complex life situation or relationship. Everything's fine. Everything's great. I am fine. We're fine. Our family is fine. When in fact, it is fine in some respects and not fine in others. So idealizing is a form of reality distortion. The opposite of that and you may know somebody who does this, is catastrophizing, seeing the worst possible aspect of some subject, 
a person, a friendship, a financial situation, um, a political election, the world, seeing things uh, through dark lenses and a glass half empty point of view can be called catastrophizing. That's a reality distortion because all things, there are very few things that are all bad. Uh, so that's one, that's another form of distortion. Another form of distortion, reality distortion, is minimizing. That can sound like, well, yeah, I may, I may uh, use, I may overeat, but it's not that much. I may be a little bit overweight, meaning 150 pounds. Oh, it's not that bad. Come on. Everybody's overweight to some extent. No big deal. That's the slogan of minimizers. No big deal. The last form of reality distortion I want to mention here is projecting. Have you ever had experience of being with somebody who's really upset and you say, you're really upset. And they say, I am not. You are. They project their emotions or feelings or point of view on you. That is a form, and they'll insist, they'll swear, they're right, you're wrong. That is a form of reality dis distortion and denial also. So the point I'm making here is there are many ways that people who have psychological wounds distort current and long-term reality. So what? Distorted view of reality promotes making really unwise decisions is what? If you don't see reality clearly, you're apt to make bad decisions. Um, how about marriage? A classic example that's epidemic in our country. Almost half, according to sociologists, of typical uh, marriages, legal or not, break up. That says one or both partners denied the reality of saying this is not a good choice. There are many parenting decisions that are unwise, starting with, should we have a child? Many people can destroy reality and say, yes, yes, it'll be fine, when in fact it turns out to be not fine. Uh, many people can distort reality and make poor financial decisions. Sure, we can afford to go to Thailand. We'll just charge it on the credit card. We'll find a way to pay it off. And later they go bankrupt. That's a little uh, overdramatic, but do you know people that have made, in your judgment, foolish financial decisions? That is a combination usually of ignorance and reality distortion. Reality distortion is a symptom of psychological wounding. Another major detriment that comes from reality distortions is poor health. People delude themselves, they have illusions and delusions that by not eating well, not getting enough rest, not balancing work and play, that uh, they can live forever. No, they can't. A major form of illusions, delusions, and reality distortion. Uh, a major delusion that I have spent a lot of time working with people who suffer from it is people who believe their family is holistically healthy, meaning emotionally, spiritually, psychologically, physically healthy, when in fact it is not. That, I would say, is an epidemic reality distortion in our country. Um, and taking a closer look at what causes reality distortion. My conclusion after 19 years of studying personality fragmenting, how, what causes it, how does it work, and what can you do about it, my conclusion is that all these forms of reality distortion are caused by a couple of um, personality subcells if you don't know what subcells are, see lesson one in my nonprofit website and the related videos. 
that posits that all our personalities are made up of subcells and we're normal, not crazy. One of the very special, powerful subcells can be called the magician. He tries to protect us, he or she, tries to protect us by making us see things that don't exist or blinding us to things that do exist or saying they're bigger than they are or smaller than they are. That is the magician. Um, you may think, wow, well, if I have a magician, what do I do about that? Here's the good news. What I've learned over 19 years of learning how to do parts work, working with the parts of people's personalities. What you can do once you identify the subcells that make up your fragmented personality, you can work with each one of your subcells and retrain it, him, her to think differently and to have a different goal and a different way of going. That means you can meet and negotiate with your magician subself and reduce its need to have you distort reality. This is a complex subject which I'm not going to go further with right now. I've got other videos that explain this in more detail. But the point I want to make here is if you distort reality, A, it means that you're carrying significant psychological wounds from your childhood and you may not know it or want to know it. B, if and when you acknowledge you are wounded and being ruled by a false self, you can learn how to renegotiate and retrain and reorganize your personality subselves, reduce all five, made all six major wounds, one of which is reality distortion. So you can distort less, see the real world as it is more, make better decisions, be happier, and reduce the chance that you're going to wound accidentally any children who are dependent on you. You can make things better. To find out more about how to do this, here are a couple of links that I encourage you to follow to expand your awareness. This video has been meant to alert you to one of six psychological wounds, reality distortion. What is it? Where does it come from? What can you do about it? Thanks for watching.